Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Tech Twins for Data Science. This is our first video in a series of multiple videos related to data analysis domain. This video one, where I will talk on how to land your first job and what are the essential skills related. So before we start, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive a notification every time we publish a video. And if you have any inquiry, feel free to drop a comment and we will definitely will address your questions. Let's get started. So our first video that analyzes the right skills to land your first job. Data analysis is a process in the combination of applying statistical and logical techniques to describe and illustrate and recap, evaluate your data. It's also the process used by researchers for reducing data to a story and interpreting it to drive insights. So why do we need data analysis? It is important to draw understandable patterns and conclusions from extensive data sets. It also helps with decision-making process and the increasing productivity. And finally, quantify, segment, and cluster cluster customers and predict their behaviors and trends. Why to become a data analyst. It's actually a good job where it has a really beneficial salaries around the world. As you can see here in Canada, USA, UK, Sweden, Netherlands, Germany, Australia, India, South Africa, and New Zealand, it varies from country to country. The variety in jobs and roles. There are different types of data analysis, such as business analyst, risk analyst, data store, financial analyst, marketing analyst. Sometimes you will find in the job descriptions that data analyst only. That means you need to read the do jo I'm sorry, the job description to get more insights, such as what is the programming languages the company is focusing on? What, what is your functionality? Are you related more to creating dashboards or more related to investigate the data set and the databases? So you will have to use SQL and other mediums such as Oracle, uh, you know, SQL, Hadoop and everything. One last thing for expertise, there are specialized certificates dedicated for each rule, whether it's paid or for free. And also, I need to highlight important insights related to each position. So let's get started with business analyst. However, I need to also highlight the the most important essential skill is proficiency I'm sorry proficiency in communicating with different members inside the organizations you need to be able to deliver your thoughts in a clear way whether are interacting with technical members or non-technical members when it comes to business analyst the essential keys are proficiency in knowledge in business wise and stakeholder decisions analysis capable of improving the current business process and track the new features implementation. Also, the business analyst is capable of setting up meetings with various teams and capable of understanding each team requirements to address them. He also needs the knowledge in business structure and interpersonal and consultative skills are crucial in his daily work. 
Moving on to the risk analyst, where he will measure the risk and provide correct interpretation and solution, whether to avoid the risk assessment or mitigate it. Familiarity in cybersecurity and the security of the organization is also beneficial. Be able to read the financial statements to compute the suitable key performance indicators, aka KPIs. Most popular KPI is the revenue, is the revenue growth metric. This metric is calculated by dividing revenue generated during one time period by the revenue generated during a subsequent time period subtracting 1 and then multiplying by 100 to obtain a percentage. He also needs to monitor any claims and incident reports to identify the potential risk factors. I see that this title is, this title is somehow specialized more than the previous title, which is Business Analyst. So let me know in the comments if you want to do if you want me to do a video more specifically for this position. When it comes to data stored, he needs to be he needs to understand the database structure and make sure the quality of the data and the reports don't have any errors. Also, he needs to ensure that the data fits its purpose with respect to the, to the accuracy guidelines. Also, the possibility of creating dashboards, presentations that contains graphs and data insights to deliver to the stakeholders. Data stored need to make sure the data follows the compliance procedures of the organization. The main applications for data stored are Microsoft 360 with a solid experience using different functionalities in Excel. Additionally, if you have a strong understand in SQL, that will be super beneficial and will add up to your expected salary. Moving on to financial analyst, it has various sides from generating monthly reports, banking statements, building, forecasting, tracking records. Main focus is regarding generating financial reporting and interacting with the senior management. And I need to emphasize that you need to Google this position in, partic in particular because I found too many aspects and I feel it's not something related to my expertise. Finally, the marketing analyst, where he needs to have a solid understanding in SQL functions and the ability to create advanced dashboards using Tableau, Power BI. Also, proficiency in Excel is ex extreme crucial for this title. And I found in some industries, they required good knowledge of analytical software such as SAS, SPSS, and Google Analytics, and additionally, familiarity in, uh, in survey software such as CRM programs. How to become a data analyst? Primary skill is solid understanding in one of these high languages, Python or R, when, when it comes to Python, we use Jupyter Notebook or Google Colab. Both of them are free. And for R, we use the only software, which is RStudio, and it's also for free. Solid understanding in SQL and any other medium, such as you know, NO, SQL, Oracle, Hadoop, Hive, Impala, is also beneficial. Proficiency in Excel and Microsoft 360 tools. Good understanding in visualizations and applications. Power BI, which is free. However, organizations prefer Tableau much more. And Tableau, it has also interactive uh, graphs. So that's 
might be the reason. Also, familiarity in probability, likelihood, A-B testing, that will add so much credit to your resume. And fair understanding of machine learning, basic concepts such as regression, classification is also great. How to become a data analyst? This is like the hidden gems what actually make you get an offer. Industry focus. And but what I mean by that is try to focus on a specific industry such as banking, retail, tech companies, etc. And try to do more res extensive research and try to have a wide aspect of their challenges and what the current problems they try to solve. Companies research once you get an interview. If you ha if you receive the first initial interview, try to search more about the company, the value, and the aspect of it. You can also check Glassdoor to see the previous employee, what they have regarding the positions, the company, um, like any other reviews. That will be great. Third point, how you convert the business problem into useful insights to non-technical audience. This is really important skill, is how to take the problem statement and convert it to something, something really practical and anyone can understand it easily without using any technician uh, keywords or words that might be uh, quite complicated. Coursera and Kegel are your best friends. That's actually true and so into the heart to get um, to get your for, uh, your first job uh, fast or the your first job offer quickly. Uh, Coursera where you find a lot of different courses that really beneficial uh, with their machine learning, uh, probability, statistical, um, Python, or you can learn literally anything and everything on Coursera. When it comes to Kaggle, Kaggle you can find a massive data sets, different sizes from small to so large that has size of gigabytes. And you can check the other work from your colleagues and other people working at uh, on the same uh, Hackson's competitions on Kaggle so you can learn from them and it will be like collaborative spirit and the last one is side hustle will always count what I mean by that that you don't stop learning and anything you will learn even if it's just not related right now to your work or not related to your <clears throat> your study it will definitely add more credit and value later on when when you uh, try to find a job so side hustle always count final word everyone has his and her secret potion to get the work done however i want to emphasize on there is no shortcut here when it comes to the IT domain and any other uh, medium related uh, to this part. You need to understand the mechanism of the theoretical concepts, whether in machine learning or statistical models, etc. Also, we all we all fix it millions of errors and still do. So, currently, even with I have so many experience and. For many years, I'm still generating some errors and I'm still learning. So we will still get exhausted. So we have, we save the code generally and for tomorrow and the start all over again. That's totally fine and you don't have to be uh, concerned about it at all. Final thing, consistency, consistency. It's really if I try to emphasize this point, it's like 
this is the whole point of it like consistency is the most important skill you need to learn to do the work every day every week every month in order to get the result thank you so much for watching my video today don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you can follow us on tech twins for data science on instagram and tiktok thank you and i see you in the next video